Ramadan Mubarak Fasting, a universal tradition practiced since ancient times. For 30 days a year, hundreds of millions of Muslims forsake food and drink while seeking the favors of Allah the Almighty through worship. Each 10 days, or Ashra, has its own unique virtue. 10 days of mercy, 10 days of forgiveness, and 10 days to seek refuge from hellfire. O ye who believe, fasting is prescribed for you, as it was prescribed for those before you, so that you may become righteous. Khuda se chahiye hai lalagani Ke sab fani hai par wo ghair fani Ramadan, the ninth month of the Islamic calendar, is a time of purification and spiritual enhancement. It has been split into three parts of ten days called Ashras, an Arabic word meaning ten, and Muslims make supplications in regards to the respective virtues that come with each Ashra. Ramadan is one of the most important months in the life of a Muslim. It was the month in which the Holy Quran began to be revealed as the final law for mankind. In essence, it is a whole month of physical and spiritual detox whereby a Muslim not only abstains from food and drink from dusk till dawn, but also ensures that they progress spiritually. Ramadan comes from the root word Ramadha, and according to Arabic lexicon, Ramadha means scorching and intense heat. Now the Holy Prophet ﷺ explained that the reason why Ramadan has been given its name is because it burns away all sins. Bachata hai har ek aafat se unko Talata hai balai nagahani Jise us paak se rishta nahi hai the universe is vast and full of astonishing wonders such as galaxies, stars, moons and planets like the earth. Indeed, the wonders of the earth are also as immense with mesmerizing waterfalls and dazzling deserts. These are all examples of Allah the Almighty's infinite mercy towards His creations. The Holy Prophet of Islam وسلم, told mankind of special days when Allah the Almighty is more disposed towards showering His mercy on His creations. The blessed days which the Holy Prophet وسلم, referred to were the first Ashra, ten days of Ramazan. In these days, God Almighty is more disposed towards showering His kindness and mercy over those who request His leniency. The Promised Messiah stated that one day it was mentioned during a conversation that there are seven gates of hell, but eight gates of paradise. And the Promised Messiah stated that I began to wonder what was the reason for the additional gate of paradise. And God Almighty immediately explained to me that there are seven principles of vice and seven principles of virtue but there is an additional gate for the divine mercy of God Almighty and that has been added to the gates of paradise. And this ties beautifully with the verse of the Holy Quran, Rahmati wasi'at kulla shay, which means my mercy encompasses all things. Khuda ki hamd hai 
इंसाफिलाजिम है उसका शुक्र इन सो जा पे लाजिम खुदा की हम है इंसाफिलाजिम One of the examples of Allah the Almighty's mercy is the prophets and scriptures he has sent to the earth. All the messengers of Allah were in their own times embodiments of the mercy of Allah the Almighty. Moses alayhi salam was Allah's mercy embodied for the people of Israel. Krishna alayhi salam was Allah's mercy embodied for the people of India. And Allah the Almighty chose Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam as an embodiment of his mercy unto the entire human race. As it states in the Holy Quran, we have sent thee, Muhammad, not but as a mercy for all peoples. Similarly, all revealed scriptures and books of Allah have been signs of the mercy of God towards mankind. Zameenu asma usne banaye उसने बनाए मलायक और बशे उनमें बसाए मलायक और बशे उनमें बसाए खुदा की हम in essence, there are two aspects of the mercy of God. The first is the mercy which was manifested for man without any action having proceeded from man. For instance, in the creation of the earth and heaven, and sun and moon, and water and air and fire, and all those other bounties upon which man's life and survival are dependent. The second type of mercy is that which follows upon the good actions of man. For instance, when he supplicates to God earnestly, his prayer is accepted, and when he cultivates the earth laboriously and sows the seed, divine mercy nurtures the seed, with the result that a large quantity of grain is gathered. These two types of mercy are such that man cannot survive without them. No one can doubt their existence, as they are the bright manifestations which support the whole pattern of the existence of all living things. Forgiveness is just one example of Allah's mercy, which is especially manifested during the blessed month of Ramadan. There is a famous quote, to err is human, to forgive divine, which means it is in human nature to commit mistakes, but it is only God Almighty, the creator of all beings, who has the capacity to forgive. God Almighty's mercy can be gauged from a famous hadith of the Holy Prophet wasallam, in which he mentioned that once upon a time, there was a man who killed 99 people. He asked another person, would he be shown mercy due to his deeds? That person replied, no, it is impossible. So the man killed him also, making it a total of 100 murderers. Regretful of his actions, the man then went to see a saint and asked the same question. The saint replied, yes, it is possible, but you have to travel to a far off place. The man set out on his journey but during the course of the journey, he died. And when he was presented before God Almighty, God asked the angels to measure the distance from his starting point to his destination. It so happened that the man was one step closer to his destination. And as a result, God Almighty forgave him. This shows the level of God Almighty's mercy. Abu Musa Ashari relates that the Holy Prophet wasallam said, Allah will continue to hold out his hand at night so that he who has sinned during the day might repent and to hold out his hand during the day so that he who has sinned at night might repent till the sun should rise from the west. Muslim Indeed, the month of Ramadan has excellences over all other months and the rewards manifest for those who sincerely repent and engage in good deeds. Allah the Almighty is omniscient and there are blessings in his every order, mercy in his every command, 
and the month of Ramazan is one such sign of His blessing and mercy on us. Therefore, to attain Allah the Almighty's nearness, one must diligently tread the path of mercy. To become true followers of the Holy Prophet وسلم, whom Allah has crowned mercy for mankind, one must committedly follow his example. To benefit from the light of the Qur'an, which God has declared the Book of Mercy, one must absorb and emit the quality of mercy. Only then will man be worthy of being shown mercy on the Day of Judgment. And say, My Lord, forgive and have mercy, and thou art the best of those who show mercy. Banaye asma me usne tare Banaye asma me usne tare Dikhaye khush numa उसने नजारे दिखाए खुश नुमा उसने नजारे खुदा की हम दे है इंसान पे लाजिम